Hey guys, I'm Alistair from the Trail & Kale Running Co and this is my Nike Pegasus 41 review. I'm just a regular guy who absolutely loves running and reviewing the latest running shoes and gear. My 5k PR is 20 minutes, which I'm always trying to beat. I've run countless ultra marathons around the world and my favourite distance is the cheeky half marathon. Road or trail, I love running on them both. I'm not afraid to let you know when a running shoe is crap, but also you're definitely gonna know when one blows me away. Either way, our independent running shoe reviews are always 100% honest, reliable, and hopefully you'll come away from this video having learned something new. Let's start off addressing who these running shoes are gonna be best for, what they're designed to do best. Well, they're a daily trainer, that much is obvious from doing a few runs in them already. But what kind of daily runs are they good for? Well, I'm going to say they're great for just bagging easy miles. That includes running up to, say, around 10 kilometers. And if you're feeling spicy, you may even want to do some tempo runs in these. I wouldn't personally, I will recommend a shoe towards the end of this review that I prefer for tempo running. But it is a versatile running shoe and it can do a lot of different types of runs. Going over some of the key specifications or key statistics of this running shoe then. Firstly, they cost $140. Stick around to the end of this review. I'll let you know if I think they're worth that price tag. How do they fit and how do they feel? Well, they're very much true to size in length and they've got a medium width. They do also come in a wide version if you do have wide feet. And I would recommend going for those if that's you. That said, average medium width feet, the lacing system, and the stretchy upper does cater to those types of feet very well. And they're super comfortable right out the box. If you're familiar with the Pegasus range, then you'll know already that they're super comfortable, almost pillow-like to put on. And that's probably the reason you keep going for Pegasus. And I know this from way back when. My first running shoe was actually a Nike Pegasus running shoe. I absolutely loved that shoe. It helped me get into road running. And to be honest, it's still a great shoe. They're a neutral running shoe, so there's no additional support built into these. If you do suffer from pronation issues, uh, drop a comment down below and I'll get you hooked up with the best stability shoe for you. They have a 10 millimeter drop from heel to toe, and they weigh 10 ounces for a size US men's nine. That's my pair. Quickly talking about the midsole then. Well, it is very cushioned, but it's also very responsive. It strikes a really nice balance between the two. That's really a reason why the Pegasus range is so popular for Nike. It's, in fact, it's one of their most popular running shoes ever. And I believe it's because of that balance. What's the tech going into this midsole? Well, it has two air zoom units, one at the forefoot and one at the heel. And the midsole foam is using React X. So this has only been seen on the Nike Pegasus Trail 5 before, and it's the first time it's appeared in this Pegasus range. If you do fancy running on some light trails as well as on the road, then I'd recommend taking a look at the Nike Pegasus Trail 5. It's a really good crossover shoe, daughter trail, which means you can just run on light trails and on asphalt as well. It's a brilliant hybrid shoe. Watch that review next. React X foam is so much better than React. Historically, I haven't really enjoyed running in running shoes that use React foam. The new React X is much more responsive. I just didn't like the React foam because it felt very flat. But there's much more energy return in React X. And bonus, it is 43% more sustainable to produce. So that's a thumbs up. And the outsole is using a really nice waffle pattern, which is very durable, offers great traction, but also it enables the shoe to be super flexible. And wait for it. You don't see many shoes flexing in that direction. Congratulations, you've made it to my performance review, where I go over the key features that I really like about this shoe, the features that perform really well, and also some that I believe could be improved for the next version. Let's start with the ones that do really well then. Right out of the box, it's just super comfortable. The upper really hugs your feet. Like I said, it's a medium width, so it feels really nice on your feet when you put them on. But there's also some stretch in the upper as well. And I really like this material here. It's very breathable, soft to the touch as well, and soft on the inside for your feet. So it does everything you want it to do or everything it should do for a daily trainer. It's super comfortable and supportive in the upper too. I really like the wide kind of lacing system here. 
It's very traditional in how it works, but it does just work. Again, that's the reason the Pegasus range does so well, because it's consistent and reliable. The tongue is very padded. Also the collar areas and the heel counter, which has a very subtle articulation. And I really like that because it doesn't put too much pressure on your Achilles when you're landing, but also taking off. And it makes it easier to slip on having that articulation here too. So if you have had Achilles tendonitis issues in the past, I recommend looking for a shoe that has a heel like this. You'll notice some Nike running shoes and quite a lot of Hoka running shoes have this feature. And I really like it for that because I have had Achilles tendonitis issues in the past. And if you wanna know how I got over those issues, then definitely read this article that I wrote. It should help you get fixed up in no time. If you're enjoying this review, please give it a like share it with a friend, and subscribe to our channel for more running shoe reviews just like this one. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That will notify you as soon as new reviews drop. I really like the outsole as well. That waffle pattern really does a good job of getting good traction when you're kind of running around corners. It just feels really good. And because it's kind of waffle like this, it allows for real good flex. That makes it really good for a daily trainer because you don't have any plates or any stiffness in the shoe that kind of fights your feet. And that's kind of what you want for a nice easy jog. The outsole also seems to be holding up very well in durability too. I've been on three runs in this shoe now and I would tend to see some kind of rubber degradation, but I'm not seeing that at all on these shoes as you can see. And finally, one of the other things I really like is they have included some reflective detailing around the heel section. Hopefully you can see here, it's a little strip and on the other side here. And one here on the outside edge of the front of the shoe. And that's great because it adds extra safety if you are running in low light conditions. Summing up for my performance review then, they are just super comfortable and I feel like I can just run and not think about the run as such. That might sound strange, but actually there are running shoes that might have something weird about them. Something that will give you a little niggle. Maybe it's too narrow in a certain area, or you feel pinching in another area, or you just feel like you're losing traction when going around corners. Many shoes do have that little thing that kind of annoys you, but the Pegasus 41 just kind of works. That's why it's such a good running shoe for the price as well you kind of get a lot of versatility. It feels very comfortable underfoot, just enough protection and cushioning so that you don't lose that response. As I said before, it's the perfect balance. And the upper provides a good amount of breathability as well if you are running in hot conditions, like I've been doing in Northern California recently. Now, I did say at the start of this review that I would offer some recommendations or alternative running shoes to this one right now that I really like. If you do need that stability shoe, I would recommend maybe looking towards the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 23. Review there for you to go check that one out. But shoes that are very much in line with this, and I believe to be direct competitors, just because they're very consistent, reliable, and have that good balance of cushioning and response, perfect for a daily trainer. The first one would be the Brooks Go 16. Check out my review of that one if you haven't yet. The Hoka Clifton 9. An exceptional running shoe too. The New Balance 1080 version 13, super, super cushioned. Everyone who steps into that shoe seems to compliment how cushioned and comfortable that shoe is as you step into it. And that continues for the run. It really is a pleasure to run in if you love that plush cushion feel. Something I've noticed a lot of the older runners seem to prefer because it's really nice on the knees. And then the Asics Gel Nimbus 26. If you want to go check out my video reviews or Helen's reviews of these shoes, head down to the description and click the links. But I also have put them up here. Are they worth $140 price tag then? Yes, of course. If you're familiar with the Pegasus range and you've been running in them for a while, then this is just a continuation of that. A super reliable, cushioned, protective, enjoyable to run in, but also you could use these for everyday wear because they're great for walking in too. They strike a really nice balance between being cushioned and responsive, and they're just super comfortable 
and easy to love. If you've got any questions at all about the Pegasus 41, just let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to help. If you're not sure if these are gonna be for you, maybe you've got more specific requirements from your running, or you, for example, prefer a very cushioned shoe or a extremely responsive shoe, just let me know your requirements down below and I'll get you hooked up with the best running shoe for you. Oh, thanks again for watching. If you did enjoy this review, please give it a like. It really helps our channel. And subscribe to our channel for more running shoe reviews just like this one. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. Peace.